Lisa, that works for my teeth. Anesthesia, there's a one ball test and position change, is it? So there's only two tests, so you have to test, you have to do both of them. Okay? Can you stand up? For the rumble test, uh, you have to ask the patient, can you bow? Yeah, that's the idea. Right, I know. So, that's the idea. Okay. You have to instruct the patient, or well, you have to, uh, you have to ask the patient to mimic your movement, whatever you want to. Because the patient might fall, you have to stay near the patient. Near the patient. If the patient fall, you have to grab the patient. Okay. So ask the patient close your eyes and lift your head up. Okay. So if the patient, once again, if your hand have to be near the patient's body. Okay. And open your eyes. That's four. Rumble is four. Also, found this function. Okay? And have a seat. For positional change season, uh, I want you to do only fingers. Uh, you have to do toes too, but for only for positional change season, you just need to perform on the fingers. So during the test, if you touch the tip of finger, I will count the point. You cannot touch the tip of finger. You have to touch the side of finger because of the most of people have a more, most of proprioception on the fingertips. So you need on, you are only allowed to grab the side of finger, not the tip of finger. Okay. Close your eyes, right? I know there's two tests. Uh, for binoculars, you need to only need to remember this test for the written exam. Only practical exam you need to perform Abadis Achilles. Okay? Uh, Abadis Achilles is similar to the Shepherds. Okay? Only difference is uh, the way you ask a patient. Okay? Uh, Abadis Achilles is like this. Uh, because of the, this is a dorsal column dysfunction test, you have to ask the patient to close their eyes. And, and 
you to find the Achilles tendon. Uh, you're gonna find the. Oh, oh yeah. Thanks. Oh, oh, okay. You're gonna find the uh, tendon between. If you put one finger on the UB60, one finger on kidney three, then you're gonna feel uh, one tendon. That's the Achilles tendon. So you have to instruct the patient. I'm gonna squeeze this area. If you feel the pressure, you just you need to feel. Uh, you, you just need to say yes. Please close your eyes. Yes. Okay. Same thing on this side. Yes. Okay. That's all. How about this? Stereo agnosis. Usually, you need to uh, bring the uh, uh, use the object, the patient, from the patient's belonging, or you can use the common object. Prevestasia and prophagnosis. Prevestasia is identification of a number. Prophagnosis is identification of a letter. Right? So if you put, pick prevestasia, you have to draw the number. If you pick prophagnosis, then you have to uh, uh, write a letter. Okay? For prevestasia, you have to do this thing. Okay? I'm going to draw the number. On your finger, on your on your hand. Uh, let me know what that is. Okay, please close your eyes. Start with the right side. Okay. Your left side. Okay. So that's an identification number. The prognosis. Uh, I'm gonna write on the letter on your hand. Let me <coughs> please close your eyes. Ready? Between dorsal column and cerebellar dysfunction, uh, you need to. Uh, it's different. Is the dorsal column? Your patient have to close their eyes. Cerebellar dysfunction. Patient have to uh, open their eyes. Okay. So this is a cerebellar dysfunction. And just can you lift your uh, head up? Tilt your head up. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's a uh, rhombo test for cerebellar dysfunction. I'm done. 
Next one is tandem gate or heel to toe. Okay. So this is a uh, get pulled over after you drunken drive. Drive. Patient. Uh, the police will tell you to this. Right. So I want you to uh, walk like this. Okay. Heel to toe. Can you walk forward? <laughs> no. no, 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 I didn't, because this is cerebellar dysfunction. So you don't need to. Oh, you don't need to. Only dorsal column, patient have to close their eyes. Oh, yeah, oh, if you, if the patient close their eyes, it's really difficult. It, maybe you try by yourself when, when you're home. When you close your eyes, it's really difficult, because your eye also have a act, uh, act on the focal section. Okay, that's a... Uh, uh, that's for the heel to toe or tandem gait. Okay. Uh, please have a single one now. Okay. This there, oh. For the written exam, you have to remember the, all this terminology. This the other kinesia, A kinesia, all the terminology you have to remember. Okay? So this dialogue is function of alternative movement. So finger tapping is this. It's, a, it's, very, it's easier to uh, ask a patient to follow you. Okay? For finger tapping, can you do this like this? So you're looking for the, uh, you, you're looking at the patient's movement. Is it smooth or is it, uh, if the patient's movement is smooth, it's normal. Okay? Uh, okay. Finger tapping is just a playing piano. So, do, do that. can you do this one more time? Okay, that's finger tapping. Hand tapping is this. Can you do like this? Okay. That's hand tapping. Foot tap. Foot tapping is this. Can you do like this? That's a foot tapping. So, oh, pronation, supination is this. Can you do this like that? Right. Okay. So, under this, there's a four test, right? But only one is the, for the low extremity. So, for this theater of Canada, you have to perform this, and you pick one of this. Because one, number one, two, four is here for the upper extremity. Number three is the lower extremity, right? So you have to you must perform number three. You pick one test from number one, two, four. Understand? 